today. It's another, after that blizzard yesterday, <laughs> it, uh, it's freezing cold again. Usually when it snows, it doesn't get that cold. And then after that, it's freezing again. So this is the problem I have with the barn today. And I wonder how many people in cold weather, so you can see my breath. How many of you in cold weather have the same problem? I bought a bunch of bags of shavings and take a look at this. I ripped open the bag and there we go. We got a block of shavings. <laughs> Can make an igloo with those. It's all frozen and I have nowhere to nowhere to store it in the warmer weather. I have to bring them all up to the house to thaw out or something. Because they are frozen and I can't use them. So I'm going to try and work on this one anyways and try and shave it off with a rake and see how that one works. So right now I'm using my rake as a, like a cheese grater. Try, it's hard to do it with one hand, but anyway, this is what I'm doing to get, get it going here. The struggles of winter life in the barn. Look, I made a penny a pillow. I wonder if she'll appreciate the shavings pillow I have for her in her stall today. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. We are out in the car, driving around. Why, why are you driving around, Lauren? It is freaking cold out. We are in a deep freeze like you never saw before. It's cold and cold and cold. And even though it is a riding day for us with our horses, sometimes you can't ride. So we need to move to another country where it's warm all the time. But even when it's warm all the time, it can be too hot to ride. Like we have times in the summer we can't ride, times in the winter we can't ride. Where is a place that is fall always? Is there a place in, in the world that's fall always? I wanna move there. Is there? Like 24 degrees Celsius, 25 degrees Celsius, always. Where could we move? I wanna move there. If you guys know of a place, comment it below and tell me where should we move, because I'm up for that. I want to have fall always. Do you guys ever feel though that things are made specifically for a reason? Like God puts things in place to keep us doing things a certain way, things that we don't even know we would be making mistakes with unless he had these rules in place. Like horses need breaks, we need breaks. Like I have a genuine belief that everything happens for a reason and that things always work out the way that they were meant to. And so I'm gonna stick with that. And the fact that we can't ride today is just the fact that we can't ride today. So what do we do when we can't ride? What do we do, Gabby, when we can't ride? What do we do, Sophie, when we can't ride? Eat. Eat. <laughs> we go shopping and we eat. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. So our first store of the day is Value Village. We love to come to this store because, because it's cheap. Because it's, it's like cra it's, it's like yard sailing. You get to go and find so many fun things and it's all reduced mm. price. Push. <laughs> These are literally the cutest slippers of life. Aren't they adorable? There's so many stores. So today, Sophie found I want that one a briar and oh, schleich. This and one, because it has a little schleich horse. And we just like looking through the bags. Like you never know what you're gonna get. And then but there's a cow. And then this one is uh, that, I already have that. And that one, I don't have that one. And that, I already have that, but so it has many schleich. All right, so once a boy, always a boy. Schleich. Microscope. Sam found a microscope. Oh, look at these guys. And he hit the jackpot. Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. I forgot Chewbacca. his name. Chewbacca. Those are Spider -Man. cool. I got, Sp I got Batman. Spider -Man, I got Spider-Man. Batman. I got this guy. Or this guy. Yeah. Batman. So when Jack comes over, you got... Baby Jack is over. Hope's He'll have all those toys to play with. Next stop is Burger Revolution. Have you guys ever had a burger from here? It's this like insane burger. You can put anything on top of it. Sam was feeling like he wanted poutine and so he dragged us here. So we ordered and now we have to wait in the car. Different times you guys. Like this is such different times. I ate my burger already because I was starving. Sam's going to show you what he got though. This is like such a specialty. Burger this place. Is a poutine. This is poutine. A lot of you guys don't know what poutine is because it's oh my gosh. It's that pulled is pork, bacon, and fries. pulled pork, pulled pork, 
bacon, fries, gravy, and cheese. Is there even any cheese? It does look like dog throw up. I'm gonna see if it tastes like dog throw up. I want one of those things. Mm. It tastes good. It's all pork. Is it good? Mm. So last night, something crazy happened. I was, we ran out of shampoo. Listen, we ran out of shampoo last night and Oh, I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do? I never run out of shampoo. So I ended up using this stuff from Bath and Body Works. Like a body wash. I used the body wash on my hair. I could tell right away I loved it. So we're going to get us some shampoo. First of all, we need to know, do they have shampoo? Do they sell shampoo in this store? Shower gel. Well, so what we used was shower gel and it was so good. All right, pick one. Everybody pick one. Got to smell some. So Gabby's gonna get hand soap instead because she's gotta be different. Sophie's struggling. She can't decide which one she loves the best. Why don't you get that one and I'll get this one. Okay. What, what flavor is that? Champagne toast. I've not even been in this store in a long time. I'm gonna look at hand soap. All right, I so mean, Sophie, uh, Sophie wants hand sanitizer. So Sophie got a new horse today. She's been... No, I got a bunch of new horses. She got a bunch of new horses today. Show us, show us. She is so excited, so, you guys. First is his Briar. She got Briar. He's, he's a Dun because he has a Dorsey. He's a Dun and Sophie loves that color combination. She got a Poppet as well. She got some Poppets. Listen. You know it's a good Poppet when it makes a good sound. And then I got a Triple Dimple. A Purple Dimple? Triple. A triple dimple. Say that five times fast. Let's triple see. Dimple, triple, dimple. triple dimple. Triple dimple. Triple dimple. Triple dimple. Dimple. You want it? She's like, oh, well, take it. <laughs> no! Come back. Nice try. Nice try. <laughs> oh, I know. She would steal any toy. <laughs> No, and she takes it straight to her She's bed. She's chewing it. All right, show them what else you got. All right, I got two fidget spinners. Two fidget spinners. All these fidgets came in a pack. So you guys know Sophie is in love with fidgets. Um, and two more horses. I love that one. Which I one do you like the best? One, like, two of those. So you already have two of these? Yeah, but we should give it away then. I could paint it. I could oh, she wants to customize Will you take it. This? Will you take the horses? Um, and then I got this one. I feel like I've had no. this one before. Macy, what is your but, problem? Um, I feel like I've had this horse before. It's really but cute. I don't know where it is. That's a cute one. So Sophie has an, an affection for Duns and Palominos. And what color is this? Palomino. Yeah, really cute. Okay. I have this horse is basically brand new because it still has the tag. Wow, that one's cute. Um, I had that one before, but I painted it. Yeah, so she I painted it for my birthday. She customized this one. Um, there's a little. I already have that. She got this. But I think I gave it this way. And I do not have this coloring of this mare. She does not have this mare in this color, so that was an important one to get. She's going upstairs now to put up all her like set up her schleek in her this room. Came with tack. And this little tiny fella Bella, is that what it is, a fella Bella? I think that one's a mini. Just a plain old fashioned mini and it came with tack. So she's really excited about all those. So like I said, um, we got a bunch of body shampoo, shower gel, because it actually did amazing things for my hair and for Sophie's hair too. Like I loved using this for shampoo. So we're going to use that for shampoo and see, just see how it goes. Sam bought a bag of toys. Boys toys, you guys know boys never grow up. Six dollars for this Ninja Turtle toy. And he bought them so we can add them to our collection for our grandkids when they come. We have a lot of girl stuff, but we hardly have any boy stuff. That's a rhino. That's a rhino? That's Chewbacca. That's Chewbacca with a bow. I also got this super cool microscope uh, that you hook up to the computer. And I think we're going to, yeah. um, which I think is going to be really cool for homeschool. Wow. I got a chauffeur. I told Sam I would go down and help him with the with the horses tonight and he waited for me. He's driving me down. Before we end today's video, I just wanted to give you guys, our loyal viewers, the viewers who are here day in and day out watching us even when we just go shopping and we don't have horse stuff. 
on our channel. As a heads up, the tomorrow's video is going to be a super special one. And we're gonna go live tomorrow night too. And we're gonna go live tomorrow night too. So tomorrow is gonna be a big video, a special video, a crazy video. You guys are gonna wanna not miss it. And we're gonna go live. So actually, as you're watching this, oh, yeah. So tomorrow, so this is, you're gonna see this on Saturday. So Sunday, Sunday's video is gonna be a big video and you guys are gonna wanna watch because we're gonna go live on Sunday after, on Sunday afternoon. Oh, okay. right. Sunday afternoon so we can have light. But yeah, we're gonna, it's gonna just mark it down you guys. Sunday afternoon, we're gonna go live, watch for us on YouTube and we are gonna answer all your questions because tomorrow's a big day. It's like a deep freeze out here, holy heck. I have my mitts on, it feels like my hands are gonna freeze. Every night, Sam told you yesterday that he brings his buckets up and down, up and down, up and down. It is cold, wait for me. Oh, I don't have any treats, wait, let me get treats. Penny has a pillow in her stall. Oh no. Oh, the shavings that we've been getting have been freezing, like frozen. It happened to to Gracie, no, to Willow the other day too. Like, it's a hard pillow. You can break it. I yeah. Will come of it. Her feet are strong, but. I might break it. Oh my gosh. That's how cold it is in Canada. Hi, sweet girl. Oh, she's dirty. Oh, hi. Oh, she looks cold. I better check her feet. Look at them, they're all walking slow. Oh, that's so sad. I'll check your feet, sweet girl. Okay, I'll check you. All yeah. All right. This one. Oh, yuck! Look at Dad does not clean you. Is that why you don't like him, Penny Pickle? Because he doesn't do it, hey? There's so much to horse ownership that people don't tell you. Like, oh, all my carrots froze. They never tell you that you're gonna be out here in the freezing cold picking your horse's feet because it's so cold out and they get ice stuck on their feet like it's so miserable for them all of them <laughs> it's so miserable i pick my girl's feet i've been trying to chip away at it for like three minutes i just want to show any of you guys who don't don't live in a cold climate this is what your horse's hoof looks like and it's rock solid i can't even get it out it's so bad you guys her feet are so bad like i had to chip away I need like a better tool. We need a better tool. I'm gonna have to get some kind of a knife or something to help her because all four of her feet were full of snow. And I've never seen it like that. And I've never seen horses have such like, be so uncomfortable with the snow on their feet before. Like this is our what, fourth year having horses? I've never seen this before. Never ever so have I seen, I've never seen snow get packed into their feet like that. I don't know why, like it's so bad this year. Yeah, did you miss me, Penny Pickle? I'm planning a ride on you. I wanted to go tomorrow and ride her, take her, drive her in. But Sam said no, because all the snow is gonna be too hard for him to drive me. Comment below and say, Sam, you can risk the snow, do it. Sam's doing it to Willow too, it's hard, isn't it? I chopped it, we need a knife. We need some kind of a knife. Yeah, I had to scrape mine off her too. Uh, All four feet. But you know what's really funny about Penny? And I don't know. It's probably not that funny. It's really bad. But you know what's bad about Penny? I want her to pick up her foot. I do all the things that you do to get them to pick up their feet. And sometimes she still doesn't pick up her feet. So when she doesn't pick up her feet, I hip chuck her. I like push her with my hip and say like, get over. I want you to pay attention to me. I want you to pick up your foot. And she hip chucks me back. Every single time she does that, you guys. It's so funny. Oh, Sam's still doing Gracie, I didn't know. Sorry, I would have done her. So, hers aren't too bad. Yeah, that's just awful. Does that hoof pick work better? 
I need to do use a different hoof pick on Penny because it's hard to get off. But anyways, I like push her with my hip. Like you know how when your horse, you guys know how when you're trying to tighten the girth and they puff out their belly, so you push them a little bit, get them off balance, and then you tighten the girth. Well, I kind of do that when I'm trying to lift up her foot. She doesn't lift it up. I push her over a little bit with my hip. And then she pushes me back. And the more I push her, the harder she pushes me back. I like to see it on camera because you probably look like we're doing some kind of weird dance. But yeah, probably bad that she does that to me. She just nope. hip chucks me. She won't she won't do it? You need help? That is that is it for today's installment of the deep freeze. And don't forget you guys, we'll be going live later later. Tomorrow afternoon, don't forget. Don't you know that you're beautiful?